All right, welcome to this little tutorial on the new Photos app from Apple. This is an application for your desktop or laptop. I'm a photographer in New York State, mostly working out of the Adirondacks, but I also travel around. And I've been using photo organization and editing software for a number of years now. And I saw this came out with the pre-release of Yosemite 10.10.3 and thought uh, people could benefit from a quick review of it and a photographer's perspective. So as you can see, it's version 1.0. Um, they're pre-releasing it uh, through the beta and it's very small, it's only 47 megabytes. So that tells me that the app itself is very lean and optimized to work quickly. They promoted it as uh, working well even with large libraries, an issue some of us have run into with uh, iPhoto, Aperture, and, and similar programs. So I'm still gonna use Lightroom as my primary editor, but Photos is a nice way um, to just integrate, you know, quick snaps I take on my iPhone or iPad and other photos that are just floating around my hard drive. Um, really easy to get in and out of, so let's go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> here it is, really simple user interface here. Um, much cleaner than uh, iPhoto or Aperture was. Um, so here on the left, we have our source list. You can see it's broken out into two categories, shared. Um, that's anything shared through iCloud and then albums. It automatically made all of these albums for me. It did take my old iPhoto events as well. Let's go to this Adirondacks. This is just a collection of shots um, showing off the Adirondack Mountains. So you can see it scrolls very smoothly. I don't know the technology behind it, but it definitely seems optimized. It can scale up, and those thumbnails are only blurry for a second or two before the sharp versions come in. You can click on an image. Uh, here, let's click on this image of a view. And hitting the space bar will make it full screen. Could have also double clicked it. And I can zoom my way around the photo. Pretty easy here. It's very intuitive, much like the Photos app in iOS. All right, when it comes to sharing photos or editing photos, let's start with editing. Asks if I want to edit this photo in the library. All right, so this photo is stored on iCloud in the shared part here on the left. So it's going to download a copy if I hit switch. All right, now this is the copy in my library. You can see all the basic enhancements here. I still, as a professional photographer, I still use Lightroom um, for client libraries, but this is a great way to get out some quick shots if I don't want to go through formally uh, organizing images and things like that. Really great. They've got some built-in filters, just like in iOS. Um, auto enhance, some crop and rotate, or you can kind of take things into your own hands with some of these uh, light adjustments. Things like that. I mean, this photo is pretty good to start off with. I might brighten it up, add a little color. There's even this nice retouch feature. Let's say this part of the, the lens here is kind of bothering me, so just kind of remove that. It's a little distracting. Boom. Done. All right. Done editing up here on the right. Done, just like on iOS. There, save my edits. And there it is in the photos library. So you can see you can scroll through lots of images with ease. Here I've loaded up most, it automatically imports images from iCloud. Um, any iCloud activity will show up there. Um, yeah, just a great tool, great way to view images. It even has a full screen mode. Nothing really changes in the graphical interface, but it's nice to know that it's there. Sharing has also become very easy in the Photos app. All the options you'll see in Mac OS are also available here in the Photos app. So it works the same way. So I'm gonna select these three photos of a snowy mountain. And by right clicking, it opens up this little uh, list of options. I'm gonna go down to share. And you see right here, I can automatically share to an I iCloud album or an email message or a text message. I can airdrop it to a nearby computer, go to Facebook. I can even add it to Aperture 
um, or, or email. Here's some recent ways that I shared that pop up as well. So just like it is in, a, in a Finder, um, really easy to share. So if you're looking for a good way to look at your photos with ease of use that's not cluttered, that focuses on the photos, and that's really fast and responsive, I'd recommend the new Photos app.